Yep, that's some real old school point to point wiring right there. Welcome to Tube Time on Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. Okay, it's time for another no-budget episode of Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. So, on the bench today is that buffer prototype, which I'm going to be working on in this episode. I'm going to be building a proper power supply, instead of what you see here. Also, we're going to take a look at a few schematics and everything. And as for the guitar preamp, which this is going to be used in conjunction with, along with a few other things, that guitar preamp is now in there, in this metal box, to shield it from home and everything. I trimmed all the wires, and yeah, that's looking nice and neat now. Okay, so I think it's about time to take a look at the power supply schematic. So this is the power supply for the um, buffer circuit. We've got a transformer here which steps the mains down to about 28 volts. Now that might not seem like a lot of supply for a tube, but these VT137s can, they can run at a pretty low voltage. I've had them running at 30 volts and it still sounded alright. We cannot do that with say a ECC83 or a, would that be an American 12AX7 I think? Yeah I tried it with one of those. It sounded like absolute garbage running at those voltages but VT137? No problem. So our output from the transformer goes into this rectifier and this capacitor and that's enough smoothing for an absolutely hum free sound with this circuit that I'm using. You see, this circuit's going to pull bugger all current, so it's not going to increase the ripple by any amount, or any noticeable amount. And I should know, because I've tested that, and I couldn't hear any hum whatsoever. And as for the filaments, well, we've got one of the filaments running off this side of the transformer's output, and we've got this filament running off the other side of the transformer's output, and between them is a 20 ohm resistor to lower the voltage so each filament gets 6 volts, which is what it's supposed to get. The only problem is this resistor does get very hot. I did wrap a lot of insulating tape around it to insulate it so it doesn't short out on anything and that melted, so that just goes to show how hot that resistor gets. So that's something to keep in mind. Anyway, what I want to do is have the transformer going straight into this thing and have this power supply circuit internally so the AC from the transformer just goes straight in and then this all does the this all does what it needs to do internally so I think it's well so I think it's about time to start working on a power supply board which is what I'm going to do now I've already put a rectifier on there I just need to put the rest in okay so here is the power supply board all built so these wires are where the power is going to go in, AC of course. These wires go off to the filaments of each valve. And these wires go off to the um, high tension for each valve. I say high tension, it's, I guess you could call it high tension. So red is positive and black is negative, or ground. Right, so this is the schematic of the buffer circuits. As you can see, it's a very simple circuit. Now, this is not an amplifier. In fact, if anything, the signal you get out of it is going to be a little bit lower than what you put into it. Well, what this does is it has a very high impedance input and a relatively low impedance output. So, you could connect something here that has a very high impedance, like a like guitar preamp or a ceramic phono cartridge or whatever and what you get out of it is a low impedance signal almost the same amplitude as what you put into the circuit but now that can be connected to your amplifier or whatever also I'm going to put a switch here so I can switch the tube in and out anyway enough of that let's get this thing wired up well here we are here is my um rather um 
unprofessional wiring work. To be quite honest, I didn't think I'd be able to get this all done, but yeah. And I've even got one wire left to spare which I didn't use. So that'll just be sitting in there flapping in the breeze, but... Well, I guess it's time to plug this in and see if it works. Alright, well... I've got this hooked up to the power supply. Or rather, transformer. So I'm going to flip this on, see if the tubes light up. That's the first thing to do. And yep, that looks good. It's doing what it should do. So the next thing to do is test that this thing actually works. Okay, so here's how I'm going to test this thing. So I've got my plug tracker playing some old Amiga music. So we've got lots and lots of stereo panic. And I've got the output from the computer going into this thing here, then go back into the computer, being monitored through Audacity. At the moment you can't see anything going on, but I'm just going to switch this switch. Hopefully we'll get something. The tubes are off at the moment, so I don't know which um, which way around the switch is. So I'm going to switch up and hopefully... Oh yeah, we there we go. I peak in the meters, but it's working. Alright. So the tubes on. I'm going to put that back into the tube position. Make sure the tubes are lighting up. The tubes are not lighting up. Okay, we have a problem here. It does not seem to be doing anything. Okay, yeah, got a very lousy connection there. But it seems to be working now, so I'm going to start this plan again. Right, I'll go over to Audacity first, I guess. Turn this on. Tubes are lighting up. Well, that didn't take long to warm up. Seems that the right one warms up a little bit quicker than the left one, but... That is working! Alright, so I'm just going to leave you with this playing through the tubes and see what it sounds like. There's a couple of things I want to do to this before I put it into service, so to speak. I want to replace these resistors here. These resistors get absolutely smoking hot. Well, they don't get smoking hot, but they do get pretty hot. And I measured the voltage across them. When I had this thing powered up, each tube was getting about 13 volts of the filament, which is a little bit over, but that's absolutely fine. Is that transformer puts out a little bit more voltage than it states it does. And these resistors here, this 20 ohm resistor that I made out of several other resistors, all of different values of course, they get pretty hot. There's about 5.6 volts across those, which is about 1.5 watts dissipated in those resistors. 
And of course, as these are all different values, one of them is definitely going to get hotter than the others, because one of them is going to have more power going through it. Thing is, I didn't know that I had a couple of resistors that I could have used in my parts box right here that I could have replaced those with and that was after I put this together so yeah I replaced these resistors with these which are much more suitable Got a couple of 5 watt 10 ohm wire wound resistors I think these are wire wound as well but these are a much better choice yep that's some real old school point to point wiring right there I suppose you would want to hear a few chords through this, so, uh, yeah. I've tuned this C, D, um, no, G, D, G, you know, like a three-string guitar, so... Just these strings here. Those three strings. So let's hear this playing through the tubes. So you can hear that actually sounds pretty good. Well, that's about it for now because my big belly wants food again, so uh, yeah. Until next time, goodbye.